Rainforests once covered 14% of our planet. Now, they cover a mere 6%. And experts estimate what's left could be wiped out in less than 40 years. And what is lost in one part of the world is felt in the other, from the forests of Indonesia to the cities of Europe. Our rainforest in Papua is helping to process the carbon dioxide produced by 82% of the population of Europe. And that's how important is the forest in Papua. We are processing their waste. Yeah, that's the reason why it's very important for the people in the world to work together. Rainforests are known as the lungs of our planet. They continuously recycle carbon dioxide into oxygen for us to breathe. But every day our rainforests, from Indonesia to Brazil, are being chopped, burned down and leveled for profit. And this deforestation is blamed for significantly contributing to global warming. Why forest protection? Many of you know that 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions come from deforestation, from the clearing and burning of tropical forests. That's more than comes from the entire transportation sector. All the cars, trucks, planes, ships in the world do not equal the greenhouse gas emissions that come from deforestation. One solution? Supporting a low carbon economy. And we can do that with a market-based solution known as RED. Reduced emissions from deforestation and degradation. RED compensates those developing countries that better manage their forest resources. This climate solution is inexpensive and it is immediately available. In fact, if we don't take advantage of this opportunity now, we will probably lose these precious forests and we may lose the battle against climate change. And I'm telling you that California will do everything possible to make this effort a success because clean air should be a right and not a privilege. It should be a gift, what we give to our children, a gift what we give in hand to our grandchildren. I cannot think of a better gift than that. You and your government can help by joining the Governor's Climate and Forests Task Force, coordinating action across states, and including forests in a global climate agreement in Copenhagen and beyond. And this time, we must insist that forests not be left out. Our children cannot wait if we're to leave them with a healthy planet. We need political leadership now. Serving on the task force are governors who represent more than 50% of the world's tropical forests and $2.6 trillion of the global economy. Governors from Brazil, from the United States, and from Indonesia. The province of Aceh is the only place in Southeast Asia still sustaining all the animals portrayed in the classic children's tale, The Jungle Book. And Aceh, along with East Kalimantan and Papua, offer some of the world's most promising red projects. I want to develop more forests uh, out of uh, one million hectare. There are 250,000 hectares will be dedicated for the reforestation as well as a equal number will be dedicated to community forestry. Indonesia provides 10% of all the world's tropical rainforest cover. It has the fastest rate of deforestation in the world. And carbon release from deforestation makes Indonesia the third largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world. Pollution, pollution is a massive cost to the economy. And, and largely speaking, it's not factored in. Okay? And on the other side of the balance sheet, um, assets, which are natural assets, are, are, are also not priced. And so we've been using them um, for free from a, in terms of what the balance sheet of the global economy looks like. And it's just not intelligent. So that, of course, you'll end up in a disaster, economically speaking, if you're not pricing parts of what is, in fact, your economy. And global warming is our collective problem and our shared obligation. It requires a global solution of all of us working together. Leaders write the rules 
rule shape markets. Markets are what give you scale. Please help by putting a price on the value of our rainforests, making our trees worth more standing than chopped down, and saving our rainforests so they can save us.